Um, we have the protagonist to our right and the filmmaker to our left. Congratulations on the film. Congratulations on getting into Sundance. It's a big deal because there's 12 films and there's like 2,000 submissions. So it's a really a nice way to start off the year. Yeah. Um, so my first question to you, uh, Lucia, is uh, are you aware that shark movies are like major box office draws? And is that a reason why you included a shark in your film? <laughs> yes, it was a strategy. Great. So you're thinking <laughs> marketing before filmmaking. That's always, awesome. Always. We don't often hear about films from Uruguay. Yours is a co-production. So is it a crazy thing to make a film in your country? Is it like people look at you and say, what the hell are you doing? Or like what kind of a support system is there? Well, we, we apply for public funds. That's the only way we can do. And we are always co co uh, looking for co-productions. We are used to do. Your neighbor countries? Yes. Yeah. Argentina and Brazil. And for us, uh, Argentina was like the most uh, natural way of producing. Uh -huh. So... Uh, and we make in Uruguay the, today. I listened to Pancho, the producer. She, he told another guy uh, that there are like twelve films per year, but uh, fiction like six, five. And yours it's played very well in San Sebastian. Yeah. And um, I, I was curious to know what that experience brings to to the confidence of perhaps you or the film or like are you like how do you get a do you get a sense that you're going in the right direction what is what is showing it and being super vulnerable about an unfinished product do for you and then how does it add to you submitting to a festival that's pretty big like this yes well i was having my doubts before we get into san sebastian i was having my doubts about the humor the sense of the film because I show like a, a work in progress in San Pablo. Okay. And, and, and I think some people didn't understand, didn't laugh at, at all. So I, I was kind of depressed. I thought, oh, oh, what do we do? What, what have we done? Yeah, what have we done wrong? We created a monster. <laughs> <laughs> but but when, when we screened the, the film at San Sebastián. It was glad. It was glad to see that everyone was laughing and understanding. What do you relate to? Not necessarily for this film, but just in general. What What are some filmmakers that uh, that mean something to you right now? Well, uh, of course, Lucrecia Martel is like a, a goddess. She's the film everyone. god. Yeah. Yes, for everyone. Yeah. Um, I grew up watching her films and and I grew up watching Uruguayan films as well. Whiskey and 25 Watts were like uh, the reason why I started yeah. to study. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So I think that that that's uh, it has to do. You can see that in in the shark. I think I don't know all that right now because. I didn't watch. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I, have, I don't have like the distance to know what my film is. No, I understand. Yes. You've been living with it, yeah. Yes, and yeah. we also we tell, <laughs> tell, tell. <laughs> Speak. Yeah, we we finished the movie like two weeks ago, more or less. Yes. And it's crazy to be here because we rush. I mean, she rushed. Yes. A lot. And this and is the the first fiction from, from Uruguay. Yeah, yeah. We used to discuss the writing process, but in terms of um, what I appreciated here is um, um, ownership of sexuality, but also ownership of experimentation. Your your protagonist is allowed and to make mistakes, and actually she makes a lot of mistakes on purpose. That's the big question mark. So I was wondering if you could talk about writing that aspect into your screenplay why, why did you embed those two elements why was it important to discuss uh, a burgeoning young adults um, um, rapport with with sexuality in general and also that uh, that psychological uh, aspect of her experimenting in like almost in some junctures purposely uh, hurting herself yes that's my read on it <laughs> well I was, I'm, 
I'm interested interested in characters that are that are, are attracted to do the, the wrong thing. <laughs> the wrong side of the tracks. Yes. And I think I think that evil might be pretty sometimes. And necessary I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, evil like like uh, in a tricky way, yes. childish like. That is great. I mean, I think that idea for the movie was great. When I yes. read the script, I was like, wow. Did you get a sense of how she was framing your character? Like how we're introduced to your character, your 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 back is towards the audience, and there's there's like certain close-ups that are really uh, intrusive. I want to say, and I was wondering how you like. Of course, when you're acting, you're not getting a sense necessarily of the mise en scene or the framing, but yeah. what was your rapport with how she framed you, like her female gaze on your character? <laughs> well, this is my first film, so yeah. everything was, was new. new yeah. yeah, everything was new to me, but I, I trust her. I, yeah, I, we had like this connection or friendship that, yeah, I, I think I trust her and. and I didn't, I, in, in the shooting, I didn't want to watch myself at the screen or the monitor in the whole time. In the whole time. Good yeah. for you. Yeah. And then in the, when, when we were editing the film, you didn't want to no. watch the film. I, I, I watched it like, yeah, two weeks ago yes. in her living room. Is it because you're self-conscious as a performer? I mean, I, I know this is your first time work, but... Uh... It's because I don't like hearing my voice. Actually. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, yeah. because I was, I was pretty nervous about my... So you'll never you'll never listen to the interview that we just did is no. what you're saying okay no. put it on mute yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, w I was pretty nervous but then I, I watched it and I really like it yeah of course yeah oh, thanks God <laughs> <laughs> I thought that you were going to be traumatized for the rest of a your bit, life a little bit but... no but I think that, that the, the fact that she's not a professional actress yeah uh, it, 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 it works because actors are not like you. I think okay. Well, they know they yes. they sort of they sort of anticipate. Yes. They, like like yeah. like uh, junctures and like how to act. Yeah, for Whereas, me, it was everything new. Yeah, everything naturalism new, in all so the scenes. Th there was no such uh, but I, afraid. No, because you didn't know. I wasn't afraid. Was I mean, I just you didn't knew. Went for it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Like like that. But I was pretty confident. I don't know why. <laughs> I was pretty confident on what I was doing and. I don't know, I think it's shown. Um, so let's talk about your character, actually. Like, I imagine maybe your filmmaker... Like, I imagine you guys had a lot of time to work with this character prior to filming. Yeah. And maybe even gave her cigarettes so that she doesn't grow. Right? <laughs> you just made her stay the, the way that she, she wanted. So, yes. so yes. like, how, how much did you explore this character in the backstory? I'm always concerned. Uh, um, I'm, always, I'm always interested in that aspect, what we don't see on the screen. And you know, how do you get to that point where, where your supporting cast of your your peers are all they're all talking about that language? It's not grotesque, but it's very street talkish, and like your character is sort of like living parallel to their own experiences. Um, like, how are you thinking about this? Even though you're young, I mean, you're a teen yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so how how are you how are you thinking of this character before playing the character? Well, the thing is that I met the character when I was sixteen. You uh, met you met that person it was you. Yeah. Okay. I met me. Okay. When I was sixteen. It's very meta. Uh, I mean, I first read the script when I was sixteen, and, <laughs> yeah. and then uh, we shoot two years after that. So she was always calling me and and saying, "Have you grown?" Like, <laughs> Yeah. Are you still are you still a kid? <laughs> and, <laughs> and and she made me send her pictures and stuff because she wanted to do the film with yes. me, I guess. And yeah, we did it. Luckily, luckily, she's a, she doesn't like me to say that, but she's a professional swimmer. I am not. So which stunts muscle growth, and you see that in the Olympi Olympians, yes. Um, yes. in the Olympic, uh, yes. what do you, uh, not acrobatics. What do you call that that discipline? Uh, gymnastics. gymnastics. Yeah. yeah. They're they're stunted their growth. Yes, yes. So the, so I think I'm not a professional swimmer. I no, she's but a but I yeah. swim really good. Yeah, but. Great. So <laughs> what was your rapport um, with this this landscape and also using it as a very much a character? Um, I yes, I spent many summers there, so I knew exactly 
what I wanted. This is a coast town, coast town, uh, where the um, old ladies go because they have uh, like free like retirement uh, coupons. Retirement coupons. Yeah. So this is it's <laughs> full of them. The wait wait, wait. so old retirement ladies. so the government pays for s no, retirement? They, no, they have like these coupon these coupons so they can they can go to a big hotel that is there. Like so, a famous like, hotel. Yes. Yeah. And it's covered by the government on some level? No, 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 no. It's, okay. it's cheaper. Okay, okay, okay. You get a rebate. Okay, yes, okay, yes. okay. I understand. That, that, okay. That. So that's that's the people who, that you can see walking on the street in Priapolis. And and there's a, some kind of magic. I don't know. There's a mixture of buildings like Art Deco with the sea and, uh, and McDonald's <laughs> and, and the... And the, the the mountains, the yeah. not mountains, we call it cerro, cerros. Yeah, Sierras maybe, yeah, I don't know. okay. <laughs> so it, 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 it's strange because Uruguay is flat, flat. Uh -huh. And I don't know, it, 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 always, it always seems to me like I always, I'm, I always discover new things in that little town. A lot, of, a lot of movies would use a backdrop like that as a summer experience, and then the characters get stuck in a vacuum, and then they leave, and their experiences stay in the coastal town, yes. and they sort of bring it with them. Whereas this character is very much part yes. of that town, you know, so it's a whole different uh, rapport, if you so want. There's a lot it. of moments of reprieve. The camera sort of like will focus in. Uh, I mean, in the press kit, there's like a a, a, a male's neck. Yeah. You know that you could see the hair on the skin. Yeah. Uh, I love how that camera sort of like floats away sometimes. Could yeah. you just talk about how you embedded that into the perhaps the before filming? Did you embed that into your screenplay? Those 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 shots where 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 we're thinking out loud about um, rapport or distance or or connections between characters in a way. Yes, yes. Uh, I draw every single. Uh, oh, you do a storyboard beforehand? Yes, yes. Okay, great. Yes. So Producers love you. <laughs> yeah. To send this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if they even saw the storyboard. But yes, uh, because it's my first, it was my first film and I needed to be sure. I needed to be prepared. So I, I get into the set, like, really prepared in that, in that sense. Um, and those shots... Uh, I find I thought that it sometimes I I will I will I wanted to be in her mind a little bit or or in her nose like the smells or the awkward. Can you say about the score without like I mean I can't play it here but I thought it was an excellent choice. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So I'm so happy about yeah. that. <laughs> like I, I like after this leave, interview I want leave. you to give me links like I, like I'm obsessed <laughs> with it so. I, I wish that my friends could hear you right, right now. Yes. It's going up in three days. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're a friend of mine since I was 16 years old, so uh, it was lovely to, to work with them. And yes, they made these three tracks. Yeah. And we discussed it. I was in Madrid at, at that time. We discussed it over um, Skype. I have some. I was sure, then I regret, also, and, and then we, it was collaboration through yes, Skype. It was very, yes. Were you offering them portions or segments of the film in order for them to get into the visual aestheticism and try to match that, or was it? Oh yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. They saw the whole film. Great, yes. great. And I, I was listening to Sebastian Tellier. Okay. Uh, yes, a French. Musician. Okay. And I I edit the film with Sebastian Tellier, Tellier's uh, music. Ah. So then I give it to my friends and they they did a different thing. And, and it's and it's the I like the way that they combine the synths. Yeah, synth. synth yeah. Synth with a charango. There's there's a charango and, a, and <laughs> so. I'm looking forward to rediscovering it. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna steal it from you. They have um, a, a band. Famous? Uh, no, nothing. They have a band. Yeah, famous. Who's called? Yeah, famous in Europe. What, like in Montevideo, and that's yes, it. Yes. Okay. Mux, it calls. Okay. M U X. Uh -huh.